Welcome to our Sticking with Chemistry series, celebrating Chemistry Week 2020. I'm Laura with the Outreach Division of the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History. Let's get started. Today we'll be making slime. Slime is an example of a polymer. A polymer is a chain of molecules that are linked together to make substances that are tough and elastic. You can think of a molecule as an individual paper clip. When you link the paper clips together to make a chain, the properties of the paper clips chain. change. They are now tough and one could consider them elastic because they do bounce back and forth. For slime in a bag, you will need some borax, some white glue, some water, a plastic bag, and optional food coloring. Your choice, you can pick any color that you would like. Water-based food coloring works the best. All right, to make our slime, we're gonna take our two tablespoons of glue and we're gonna put it in our bag. You can also mix this in a cup, but we prefer to mix it in a bag just because it kind of keeps the mess down a little bit. And it's easier to mix with both your hands sometimes. All right, now you're gonna put in one tablespoon of just plain water and a couple of drops of food coloring. I'm gonna use blue because blue is one of my favorite colors. Now, make sure that you seal your bag really, really well, because if you don't, you're gonna have a big mess on your hands. Try to get as much air out as possible too. Now, mix away. This is why I like doing it in a bag too, because it's more fun than sitting with a, with a stick or something mixing it in a cup. Mixing it with your hands is fun and it feels pretty cool in the bag. All right, when your glue and your water are mixed pretty evenly together, along with your food coloring, you're gonna take some of your borax solution. Now, I went ahead and pre-mixed my uh, one tablespoon of borax in one cup of hot water. That's already been mixed in my beaker to make my borax water. It's also easier if you heat your water up because it enables your borax to um, dissolve much faster in the water. So once you get your borax solution mixed and your water and glue mixed, you're gonna put in two teaspoons of your borax solution. The first one was a little bit big. And then you're going to mix. You're going to mix it and mix it. And you'll see it to start feeling that it changes differently and that's making its polymer. Also you're probably going to want to pull it down to make sure that you're getting all of it at the bottom. This is the one drawback to using a bag is to try to keep it all together down at the bottom of the bag. It's getting harder for me because some of mine is already setting up into polymers. This part right here is really tight. That has mixed with my borax solution. You can just kind of mix it around. Okay, after you have worked your bag until you get slime, you'll be ready to take it out. And here it is. You will have some things on your hands. It's okay. It's just glue and water and it'll wash off. But you will have your slime that you can play with. It may be a little stickier. It may be a little thinner than mine. It depends. Sometimes the amount of water or the kind of water that you have in your tap will also affect the quality of slime. But you can get it, you can break it, you can roll it up into a ball, and you can have fun with it. Enjoy your slime and thank you for joining us today.